Hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're going to take a quick look at Bratton Vandal, a weapon that was only available during a very short time period in open beta for one credit. Now while I did actually start playing before this weapon was made available, I never picked it up because I didn't play during that short 4 or 5 day period where it was available. Now if you want to get your hands on this weapon, you will either have to buy it from other people using Platinum or you will have to do Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. The barrel and receiver can be gotten as a rotation B reward which you get after finishing zone 6 and the stock and blueprint can be gotten as a reward from rotation C which you get after finishing zone 8. And this of course rotates over and over and over again, so you can also get the barrel and receiver after finishing zone 14 and the stock and blueprint after finishing zone 16 and so on and so on and so on. Don't expect to get it right away though, because the drop chances, especially on the stock and the blueprint, are absolutely terrible. Now you can of course get super lucky and get it on your first rotation C and that's fine, that happens, but if you want to know how long it's going to take you on average with a drop chance of 2.01, you're going to have to do roughly 50 full rotations. Now each one of these rotations is going to take you at least 20 minutes because that's how long it takes to get through 8 zones, which means that you're going to average one Bratton Vandal blueprint sort of every 16 and a half hours of Sanctuary Onslaught. That's pretty bad. But once your grandchildren finally get it, they will get a fully automatic primary rifle that requires at least mastery rank 4 to use it and does 35 damage with each shot. 21 is slash, 12.25 is impact and 1.75 is puncture. It also has 16% crit chance with a standard 2x crit multiplier and 16% status chance. It can fire up to 7.5 rounds every second, it is very accurate, has 50 rounds in the magazine with 550 rounds in total and a reload time of 1.75 seconds. And finally, it also comes with one V polarity, which is always nice. Now, the build I ended up with on the Bratton is a pretty straightforward two former hybrid build where I've added a V and a dash, and it's running serration for more damage, split chamber for multi shot, point strike and argon scope for crit chance, vital sense for crit damage, then I have vigilante armaments for multi shot and the crit overload, and I topped it off with malignant force and high voltage for corrosive damage and status chance. Now I did originally want to go for a hybrid viral build instead where I would run rhyme rounds and malignant force for the viral and status chance and then fanged fuselage because while this doesn't increase the damage of the slash procs it increases the amount of slash damage on the weapon and makes it so that the weapon is far more likely to proc slash. And while it wasn't completely terrible and you can still do it you can even add in hunter munitions for more slash procs it just didn't feel particularly good. And it's because the weapon is kind of weak, so it's nice to have that corrosive damage, so you're slowly stripping away the enemy armor in the case of the Grenier and the Corrupted and some Corpus here and there, so you're actually doing some upfront damage on top of the slash procs. It actually feels okay versus the Infested, it's not the worst thing in the world, so this is probably the best faction to take this against, especially at higher levels. And the worst faction to take this up against is probably the Corpus, especially if you're like me and you don't like to constantly swap your elemental combos around every time you do a mission. The corrosive damage just doesn't do an awful lot against them. Man, I just hate being negative Nancy. I would much rather be positive Pete, but yeah, this weapon is just terrible. The problem here is that it's a very solid Mastery Rank 4 weapon that would get you through the star chart, but you will never get it at Mastery Rank 4. First of all, the parts dropped in the Elite version of Sanctuary Onslaught, and I don't know if Mastery Rank 4 players are even doing Elite Onslaught, let alone clearing Zone 8 reliably. And number two, the drop chance is just too low. I am pretty sure you're going to be like Mastery Rank 7 or 8 at least by the time you get the full set, and at that point you have access to way better gear. It's basically the same issue that I had with a singular version of the Viper Raid that's sold by Barrow. It's a fantastic weapon for people that can't afford it. And don't get me wrong, I get it, it's like a trophy weapon that was only available for not even a week, like five years ago, and you can farm it and have sort of this thing, but it's just so bad. It sucks, I'm very sad now, because I was so excited to finally pick it up, and in the end I was very happy to put it back down again. It actually performs quite well on the star chart, but once you start going into higher level fissures or high level nightmare missions on planets like Sedna, you will start to see the damage go down quite rapidly. So this weapon unfortunately gets a note from me, it's just not particularly strong and the farm for it is absolutely atrocious. And if you're like me and you like using the Bratton series of weapons, I would recommend the Bratton Prime, which some people say is sort of a side grade to the Vandal, but I would argue that it's just a straight upgrade because the damage distribution is a little bit better, it's slash and puncture, whereas the Vandal version has slash and impact, and while it does reload slower and doesn't have as much crit chance, the status chance is much better, it has bigger magazine and it fires faster. It's also a lot cheaper if you don't want to farm it because you can right now get the full set on PC at least for 10 platinum. 
And that's pretty much it. So I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.